The sea bottom near Southern California has been hiding a very dirty secret, decades of discarded chemicals. This toxic debris field holds thousands of drums containing DDT and industrial waste. A research expedition recently mapped the deep sea dump site for the first time using high resolution sonar scans. What they found was a stretch of ocean bottom studded with at least 27,000 industrial waste barrels and possibly as many as 100,000. In March, a scientific expedition created acoustic maps of the seafloor at the San Pedro Basin, covering 36,000 acres, an area about the size of San Francisco. Two underwater autonomous vehicles swam through depths up to 3,000 feet below the surface, using sonar to pinpoint the locations of the barrels. To detect and count these very small containers, which measure just a few feet high, the scientists created algorithms that categorized objects by size and brightness. So to walk you through um, the survey, the yellow circle is the three nautical mile dump site. And so to register yourselves acoustically, these small little dots that you see along here are indeed um, barrels that were sampled during that small survey. More than 90% of the survey area contained some human-made debris, with 27,000 of the objects likely barrels holding DDT and other types of industrial waste. How did this happen? It took decades, with offshore dumping of waste products beginning in the 1930s. Los Angeles today is mostly associated with Hollywood and movie making, but oil and gas were once thriving industries in the area, and much of the waste from extraction and processing wound up in the ocean. Companies that manufactured agricultural DDT also dumped byproducts into the sea. By the 1980s, these decades of toxic dumping caused irreversible damage to the marine environment, according to a 1985 report by the Los Angeles Water Quality Control Board. While the research team doesn't yet know how many of the 27,000 newly described barrels hold DDT, the survey offers a starting point for investigating the container's environmental impact. So while it's 25,000 targets, it's not unfeasible to think that we could begin cataloging the kind of condition of each one of those targets that are out there. And so that there'll be some technical challenges associated with that, but I think, you know, we, we like to work in the business of challenges. Putting this out now is a way to get information to policymakers and for other efforts. The team's discoveries have already prompted California officials to request that the EPA prioritize urgent and meaningful action to remediate this serious threat to human and environmental health. <laughs>